Hello, this is Kate, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. So I'm going to be using the Fenestra deck today. So I'm just going to begin by taking the top card. And we've got the Eight of Cups here. So this is this card is going to represent the beginning of the week, so Monday, Tuesday. And the Eight of Cups is a... Um, a card that symbolizes leaving something behind. So this card can come up for you if you've suddenly realized that something just isn't going to work out or you're kind of giving up on your plans um, or you know something doesn't turn out as you expected or something did turn out as you expected but it didn't bring you the kind of satisfaction and fulfillment that you were hoping for. So this is um, it's kind of a nice time in the beginning of the week to reevaluate your values or reevaluate, you know, what's important to you and how things are going. So if you feel like things are maybe going along nicely but you just don't you're not getting the kind of satisfaction um, out of it that you thought you would, this is a good time to, to look to look at your kind of your plans and you know where you're putting your energy and your time and your efforts and kind of restructure things and make any changes that you need to. Okay, so moving on to the middle of the week, we've got Knight of Swords. And I'm just going to zoom in zoom in a little bit. So the Knight of Swords is a very aggressive card and it's a card of kind of really going for something. Um, in a very direct, uh, fast, powerful, kind of aggressive way. It's also a very mental card, so it's all about thinking and thoughts and perhaps um, over-rationalizing and analyzing something. Um, and often I see this card as being kind of symbolic of writing or um, something to do with that form of artistic expression. So writing, writing letters, or just writing in general. Um, but the Knight of Swords is a very, very direct, aggressive card. So the beginning of the week might find you in a situation where you feel like this is an appropriate kind of way to, um, to kind of go for things. So to kind of really focus going forward with that sense of, um, this is a very kind of male energy card. It's a very yang card. And you might feel like, you know, the middle of the week is a, a good time for you to kind of channel this sort of energy and get into this kind of role of being very direct. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else I want to say about this. It's a card of focus, but it can sometimes be... Um, a card of focusing on something to the detriment of everything else. So kind of being very... Um, almost kind of too focused where you kind of shut out everything around you. So it's important in all kind of situations to, to really step back and see the big picture. So if you find yourself kind of getting into that state of um, kind of dedicating all of your energy towards one thing or being totally kind of overly focused or obsessed with, with reaching a certain goal, um, it can be good to take a step back and um, and just have a look at the bigger picture. Oops. Okay, so for our next card for the weekend, we've got Seven of Swords. Okay, so Seven of Swords. To me, I always see this card as kind of a card of escape. So, you know, here's the guy, and he's kind of sneaking off in the middle of the night with all the all the weapons. So the weekend might find you, um, you might find yourself in a situation where you're kind of wanting to escape from something. So this could be, um, you know, plans or commitments that you've made to do something and you might feel yourself wanting to kind of sneak out of them and kind of get out of them and spend more time to yourself or do something else. And that's fine. And um, this card can also be symbolic of not planning things out very well. So if you are making certain plans over the weekend, you want to make sure that you, whoa, you want to make sure that you really think them through, you know, discuss them with other people, get a second opinion, and, um, you know, now is not really a time to kind of fly by the seat of your pants and not plan things out. So you want to make sure that if you have any plans that you, you really spend the time kind of thinking them through with a clear head. Um, 
I'm just trying to think what else this card can mean. It can also symbolize a feeling of, um, of being kind of cut off or rejected by a group. So if you're feeling maybe like you're kind of the odd man out in your group of friends or even within your family, um, this card can symbolize that too. So feeling like you're kind of the outcast or not feeling totally understood by others. And I think the thing to remember is even if you are feeling that way, there's always many people out there who who you can resonate with and who do understand your point of view, even if it might not feel that way at the time being. Okay, so I'm going to draw one more card to wrap things up. Okay, and we've got Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles is all about balance. It's about kind of juggling tasks. So you might kind of find yourself feeling overwhelmed by things, and this is a card to to kind of let you know that you can do it all. You can find that kind of healthy balance where you can, you know, maintain all your different activities without feeling totally stressed out. And this might mean that you might have to drop a few activities. You might not be able to keep your plate as full as you have in the past if you're, if you know, feeling, feeling balanced and feeling calm is something that's important to you. But this is a card of, of um, the importance of balance and being able to maintain that balance. So if you are feeling like your life is getting quite busy and stressful, you want to make sure that you, you know, balance it out with a lot of um, downtime. And also, you know, balancing out action with non-action. So if you feel like you're running around doing things, or you feel like you're very physically active, make sure you, you know, get a lot of physical rest as well. Um, And also, I think this card means um, honoring the polarities within yourself as well. So honoring the the male and female polarity that exists within you too. So being able to express yourself in in the very kind of masculine ways as well as the feminine ways, and being able to to honor both sides or both aspects of yourself. So being open to information that comes to you intuitively, being you know, open to experiencing things in a calm, kind of meditative, open way, but also being open to really kind of going for things and putting a little bit of drive and aggression behind some of your actions as well. So being able to kind of um, alternate between the two without assigning greater importance to either one of them. Okay, so this has been your reading. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for joining me.